I want you Kenyans to trust me. I have never played with your money. I've never played with the business of the nation. I've never played with your children. And I will not play when I become your president. When he quit his permanent secretary seat at the Education Ministry in April 2012, many questioned his judgment to leave a high-flying civil service job to dive into the murky waters of politics in his quest for the presidency. But James Olekiapi was determined to be the change he believed in. As it turned out, the presidency proved to be a bridge too far for him in the March 2013 polls. He only managed 40,998 votes out of the 12 million votes cast, representing just 0.3% of the total votes cast. Actually, I was very happy with myself. In fact, when the results were coming, I was laughing. The result meant he had to recalibrate his life. It's like I've come to, um, to reality. It's, it's like I've landed. It's like I was here. I've come down to ground earth. <laughs> A global icon. It's a icon. He has embraced his new reality, even shifting base to his home in El Duret. Three years down the line, we track the former education permanent secretary here to the University of Eldoret. His life now is about teaching, but come 2017, he is determined to throw his hat in the ring once again. Come in. We ask him whether he would want to go back to his former job as a PS in government. No, 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 no. Not at all. Even if anybody offered me to be a PS now, I would say, no, thank you. CS, yes, because I have not done that. So that's where you begin to say, is he really normal? Does he know something we don't know? Does he have a dream? As a professor, teaching comes naturally for him, but he wants to impact a bigger classroom, Kenya. But you should know when you start up there, then you go down. People see you as a joker. When I watch things from 2013 to where we are, then I have to sit back and say, surely can I just sit back here and, and watch on TV? I have to go and also contribute. Elections are an expensive affair, more so a presidential one. Where will he get funding to campaign? I will expect again to, to get the support from Kenyans who like what I stand for, because I stand for a great deal of good for the country. <laughs> I want the whole country to conspire and say, forget about this fight between Jubilee and court. Let's give Olekiapi to become president. And the problem is sorted out. <laughs> he is an average Joe, so to speak. But here in Eldoret, that he was in the ballot in 2013, he is some celebrity of sorts. People recognizing him, even calling him Mheshimiwa. However, unlike the trappings of power that come with such stature, he runs his own errands. And in the absence of his wife who is in Nairobi, he typically lives alone in Eldoret when he is down here, even knows his way around the kitchen. And I have no doubt in my mind that this is a highly competent person. But politics is another cup of tea. So... Because of those considerations, Governor, in my, my view, would have been the better place. But he remains a believer that he is destined to lead the nation. His chances tell a different story, but he does not waver. Jackie Maribe for Sunday Live.